Hello everybody. Welcome to my top 1 to 7 blue water yachts for round the world sailing. So this video is designed to sort of give a brief sort of outline and summary of some of the boats which I, I sort of think would be particularly good. Right, so this is the Moody 425 and this was built by Marine Projects in Plymouth um, back in the 90s and um, yeah, I don't think they, they're not in business anymore. The designer was Bill Dixon. So it's a glass reinforced plastic hull, superstructure and deck, teak in the cockpit. Um, the dimensions are 12.7 long, 4 metres wide, 1.83 metres draft. Um, we have a displacement of approximately 9.6 kg. Um, ballast of 3.8 kg. Fuel capacity of 275 litres. Uh, walk capacity of 410 and um, it's got an emergency tiller and what else has it got into the engine size in, in this particular one I've got 110 horsepower and um, will give you a sort of a seven knots the holds really only sort of designed um, so it's maximum speed approximately 7.5 knots so yeah I, I don't think it's a particularly sort of fast boat but it's designed to sort of um, to be sort of blue water, complete open exposed seas. Um, then, the, you know, you can pick them up second hand, um, um, a lot cheaper than the top end ones. But um, but yeah, that's um, that's pretty much the Moody. They do different size ones as well, but this one in particular is, is good for sort of uh, more sort of bigger seas and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's the Moody um, 425. This is the Kev. 32. Uh, this was manufactured, I think, in New Zealand uh, by a guy called Bob Salthouse. Been around for a lot of years. Um, very popular Australia and New Zealand. Um, so it's 32 feet. Um, it's got a width of 24 um, feet. I'm not sure that's that's right. No, beam um, is 9.93 9, um, 9 metres beam. Standard draft of 1.6 metres, displacement of um, 9,000 pounds, 4,072 kg, ballast of 4,570. Um, so, yeah, engine 12 to 20 horsepower, and um, that is an option. It's meant to be quite a good, strong, sturdy boat for, um, you know, the deep blue sea, ocean sort of sailing. Um, Yes, the She 31, much similar to the Contessa 32. Um, this one was designed by Spartan Stevens. This is built in um, South Hans. And um, I think an engine for one like this, I think about 20 horsepower is what they usually have in there. It's really length 30 feet, um, a beam of 8 feet, 10 inches, draft of 5 foot 5 inches, um, displacement. 7,800 pounds, ballast 3,400 pounds, um, and um, yeah, it's like I say, very similar to the Contest 32, and that had taken pretty much all the plaudits away from this boat. However, this one has been um, been used for racing um, since like the 1960s. Very good one, this. Yes, you can sail around the world on these things, can you believe? Um, but this one here is um, is tried and tested. This is a Contessa 32, built in the UK. Um, engine, which can go in here, uh, for example, 20 horsepower better, would be quite good. Um, and uh, the length is 32 feet. The beam is 9 foot 6 inches. Maximum draft is 5 foot 6. And weights, the ballast... 2,042 kg, displacement 4,309 kg, uh, fuel 34 litres, fresh water 81 litres. Um, and yeah, I mean, looking underneath there, you can see why it'd be so seaworthy. You look at the keel on there, um, you look at the support the rudder actually has and the way it's um, is built into the um, the stern there with the, with the, with the prop. Um, so it's designed for some real sort of big, big seas. Um, it's a very solid um, GRP built yacht, um, so yeah, you can pick them up quite cheap now, and um, yeah, they've been going strong, um, developed in the 70s, I believe. Right, so this is the S&S &S 34, 
um, similar sort of hull design, but this is just um, taken from quite an old SNS 34, so 1971, this particular one was built, so it's 10 meters, just over 10 meters and 50 mil. Um, it's a beam of 3.6, 3.06 meters, draft 1.8, um, horsepower for this one, 27 horsepower. Yeah, so the displacement of this vessel is 4,171 kg, ballast 2,450 kg, um, that's the keel Mark 1, Mark 1 keel, and the Mark 2 keel is 2,305. So yeah, this is a real sort of seaworthy one, um, it's a little bit bigger obviously, but yeah, a very seaworthy um, and um, lovely boat really, um, like I say about 30 horsepower um, you can get in there. Um, speed, I'm unsure of how fast it actually got, I don't think they're particularly, this type of hull is particularly that fast, but um, for sort of big oceans, yeah, very safe. The Contessa 26, I know that they um, do sometimes sail these little boats from San Diego <coughs> all the way to Hawaii. But anyway, here's the, here's the dimensions. So it's, um, I've got a five ton vessel here. It's just, un, just under 26 feet, beam seven foot six, draft four um, feet. Uh, what else have we got? Ballast ratio 55%. Um, so it says five tons and um, it's got some sail information. You can see how small it is inside. However, if you're on a budget and you want something which is quite seaworthy, rock solid, you're, it's a bit like a floating barrel, really, and um, you'll slowly get to where you want to go. And finally, the um, the Armel uh, 2000 here. Beautiful, beautiful boat. It's the catch. Um, and um, it's 52 feet long. It's uh, got a beam of 15 feet. Um, a draft of 2 metres, just over 2 metres. Displacement... Uh, weight of 16,000 kg and a ballast of 5,500 kg. Um, uh, so, uh, construction FG, so that's fiberglass. Uh, they were first built in 1999. Um, it's, a, it's a big blue water boat. Um, Engine size, a typical engine size, you can have this at 78 horsepower, which isn't actually a lot, but it's designed just to, you know, get the boat um, moving. Fuel capacity of 155 gallons. And, um, yeah, it's like a, um, you know, it's a, a bigger, safer sort of, sort of boat. Um, and I'm not sure on the exact speed, design speed. They're not fast, fast. But, you know, it just depends on what the wind's doing and what sails you, you've got out and and things like that but um, yeah um, gorgeous boat lovely sort of interior inside and um, and that's uh, that's pretty much it really um, it's um, it's a yeah, it's a catch and um, yeah you can sort of um, have, a, have a sort of a um, a runabout a runabout dinghy attached to it if you want to something like that but anyway, guys, this is the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. So this is my top one to seven ranked blue water sailing yachts from around the world. So the Armel number one, Moody, Contessa, the SNS 34, the She 31, the Cat 32, and the Contessa 26. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please subscribe, and I will see you later.